overwhelming request, we decided to do the famous Suicide Sports Joker and Harley Quinn looks in this Halloween episode. That's right, just a little disclaimer, we are not professionals, okay? We are just sharing the looks that we are gonna wear for this Halloween. Mm. In this episode, we partner up with Sephora and we are basically gonna recreate a glam wearable version of the duo. I chose Joker is because I can wear this look with my boyfriend! I'm gonna use the exact same makeup on him for this Halloween. How cool is that, Michelle? Yeah, that's very cool. I mean, the fact that you can transfer the makeup from the female Joker to mm -hmm. the male Joker, mm -hmm. it's very unisex. Um, for me, I always wanted to be a villain for Halloween, but the thing is, I couldn't find one that quite matched my personality. Mm. So, when I saw Harley Quinn, I was like, she is very bubbly and a diehard romantic, which is like me. <laughs> So without further ado, if you're interested to find out how we recreate these looks, then please, please keep, keep on, on watching. watching! Let's start off with foundation. Since we've had prep and primer face, we are going to dive right in. Yes, you might have noticed that no white face paint has been used in this tutorial. And that's because we felt like, you know, it's more economical to use your everyday products. You don't want to spend so much just for Halloween, you mm. see? So I'm going to start off first. As you guys already know, I have very oily T-zone. Therefore, I'm using Marks Jacobs foundation, which is oil-free and suitable for oily skin like me. I'm only putting a thin layer because I love the natural finish. Well, for me, I will go for a foundation that offers a higher coverage because I really troubled skin, so I could really do the extra help. I will opt for my favorite CC Plus cream at the moment from It Cosmetics. Remember, if you need more coverage, don't just spam the cream, okay? You have to build it on layer by layer like this. And then when you realize that there are some areas that need extra coverage, you see like, for example, the side of my cheeks, you see? And then that's when you build on the extra layer. Now let's move on to concealer. I love a full coverage concealer that doesn't crease or crack the whole day. And this baby is the champion. And I'm applying it under my eyes, the redness at the side of my nose and some blemishes. See, I got a chemical burn here because I put toothpaste. So don't put toothpaste! Don't! <laughs> I have trouble skin as you guys already know, so for concealer-wise, I would choose a creamy one with industrial strength so that it can cover everything in just one thin layer. So this one from Marc Jacobs has been my holy grail. See? I just need one thin layer to cover the blemishes. Now both of us are going to set our face with It Cosmetics Press Powder and I'm using a large brush to buff the product in. Mm. And while Elna buffs her product in, I'm going to just gently pat it in because you know we spent so much effort building this face, we don't want the buffing motion to erupt it, you know? Okay, now that the face is set, time to snatch those brows. I'm going to draw them with these two shades of green. It's called Iggy and Electric Warrior. And using an angle brush, I'm just sculpting my brows and filling it in. For Harley Quinn, she wears a beautiful pair of arch brows in natural colours. So for this look, you can simply fill in your natural brows with your favourite brow product. I'm using the Too Faced Bulletproof Eyebrow Pomade in Universally Too. And for brows, I will usually outline the brows first before gently filling them in. So you see, you want to outline the top. And then over here, I like to follow my hair growth direction. It's downwards. And then here, you tip the brush. And then for the front part, I like to go upwards. Lastly, just use this spoolie to soften the strokes up. Now we are done with the brows, let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to use this dark red maroon shade from Kat Von D again. I'm going to use it as my base shade on my eyelids. Then, I'm going to blend it out for that soft grunge look. Bring the product and applying it on my lower lash line. Okay, I want this look to look glam, but the thing is, I want to keep Harley Quinn's signature smear out shadow look as well. Because you know, she's a crazy person, so even her glam makeup is not going to look that normal either. Okay? You want to set this potion with any matte white shadow. Now this is because we are going to use crazy colours like pink and blue later. So we want to make sure that we have a nice base. Apply the pink shadow on the right side of my face and blue on the left side. And then I'm using this one as Starlet by Sephora. I'm going to spray on some makeup spray. And remember you want to work with tiny amount of product each time because if you work with too much, you might get fallout and then it gets like very messy. You 
can go slightly above the crease area since it's glam. Now we want to switch over to a smudge brush like so. This is pointed tip so that we can deposit the colour on the lower eyelid. Same colour and then switching back to the same fluffy brush and you want to smear it out in a zigzag motion. Lay your brush flat on your cheek like this and then go smear it out this way. Now moving on to the left side of my face, we are going to put the blue eyeshadow and we are going to use the same brushes, same techniques. And lastly, to make this look extra glamorous, we're going to add on the glitter. Now our smoky eye is not completed without any definition and depth, so we are going to deepen these eyes with some black eyeshadow. So I'm going to apply a black eyeshadow on my eyelids, not crossing over my crease line. Just grabbing the little black dress from Sephora collection, and I'm going to pat it in at some at the outer corner. Then I'm going to put it underneath my lash line. Since I'll be creating a glam makeup look, I cannot do without the deepening of the eyes, right? So I'm gonna use Elna's My Little Black Dress from Sephora. So I'm gonna use a smudge brush and then you just wanna create an outer V. And you wanna slowly build it up because now you have the glitter on. Just build it up at the area close to your upper lash line. Bring it to the lower lash line. Time to wing some eyes! Elna, are you ready? Yes! I'm going to emphasize my eyes by adding some liner. I love this felt tip eyeliner so much because it's so thin and it's good for precise application. Now I'm drawing the outer part of my eyes and winging it upwards for that sexy cat eye effect. For the extra drama effect, you really want to wink it all out at the end of your lids. Our eyes are about done! Time to add on the last step, which is eyelashes. And I'm using the product from Too Faced for my bottom lashes. And I tend to look for mascara that gives me a lot of volume because my lashes are pretty long and I need volumizing mascara. So this baby is the bomb. I don't have long lashes like Elna, so it's okay. We'll go for volumizing and lengthening mascara. The Velvet Noir from Marc Jacobs is perfect for me. I'm gonna apply this bad boy on my lashes. Now, the both of us, we look very 2D now. <laughs> so we're gonna contour so that we can look 3D, okay? What I meant is we are going to add some depth and dimensions to your faces. For me, I'm sculpting the Joker's sunken cheekbones as well as thinning my nose to make it appear like his. It's called Shade and Light. I'm going to dig into Shadow Play, which is this chocolate colour here. So I'm putting like a lot of product in because I really want to emphasise that I have skinny face, although I don't. And then I'm taking a flat brush to sculpt my nose. As for Harley Quinn, there are actually no strict rules to the contrary because in the movie, she wears white face paint. And then you know the drill, forehead, cheekbones, your jawline. The Joker does not wear any blush, so we're gonna leave that step out for his look. I'm gonna use this pinkish red, rather loud on my cheeks. One very last step, this one from Becca Cosmetics in Opal. And I'm gonna need to apply it on the high points of my cheek, nails, and cubics bow. And we are almost done with the looks! And today I'm using a dark matte maroon shade on my entire lips. Also, because Joker has this gothic look, right? So a dark lip is a must, right? I'm using Sephora's Losing Control, which is a beautiful matte formula and yet providing everlasting moisture. And I'm using a lip brush to blend out the edges. Then I'm adding a red shade on the centre of my lips. And as for Harley Quinn, what is her without her signature red lips? From NYX Cosmetics in Mary Jane. Wow, hello, one swipe pigment. Last but not least, adding the minor details of Joker and Harley Quinn. And if you're keen in DIYing, then here's how we do it. Okay, so right now I'm gonna add some aluminum foils on my teeth because I don't have grills and it's a cheaper alternative. But disclaimer, it's really, really uncomfortable. <laughs> so if you wanna ditch it away, yeah, you should. Uh. You probably should. Now 
that we are done with the makeup looks, we're gonna do the hair and the costume. So for the hair, to achieve the crazy hair colors, you can simply purchase these semi-permanent hairsprays from Far East. And we got these at $8 yeah. each. For our costume-wise, I got her Harley Quinn outfit for like $20 on Taobao. Eh. And for Joker, I mean, you can just throw any blazer you can find at home. Lah. Now we're gonna get into our costume and do up our hair and we'll see you in a while. This is the final look of Joker and Harley Quinn. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, you can refer to the description box down below. And if you don't know already, you can get the products at Sephora. We've come to the end of this episode. Remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Night Cinematics. Also, remember to turn on your YouTube notification. We want to thank you guys so much for watching once again. And we'll see you in the next one. Kisses from Contour and Highlight. Bye! Bye.